anyway, floor three, and there's also another time capsule up here, and it is not in this area. Instead, we have to do a sigil puzzle first. These ones are sort of a little more intimidating with how many sigils they present to you, but at the same time, they give you a lot of big pieces to work with, and a lot less little pieces at the same time, so it kind of becomes slightly easier, I want to say. It's just designed a bit differently compared to what you would possibly expect, I guess. And it works, it, you know, to its credit, it works out pretty well. It, it offers a pretty decent challenge to anyone who's willing to ascend the tower and see what is beyond the ground below. I, I don't mind it so much. Let's pick up a DNA strand. I look in the mirror sometimes and I see myself like some alien being. I think, who am I? Why do I have these eyes and those hands? Why do I see the colors that I see? Why do I think like I think? I did not choose to exist. I was created. Every single part of my body, every strand of my DNA, is part of a story that stretches back billions of years. I exist only because of the choices and sacrifices made by so many others, but I don't know who they are. And what effect will my choices have on those who come after me? Maybe that's what it means to be human. Every species is part of the story, but we're the only ones who know that. Do we have to be the only ones who know that? I mean, frogs are people too, right? So they should surely know they are all part of this giant mathematical equation that is life. Anyway, I um, hope you guys do not mind, but I wanted to go ahead and complete another puzzle while we were listening to the lady. It's not something I do very typically, but I, I felt like doing it right now, so, eh, sorry. And this will give us another code, and I think this one's actually slightly different. I guess the codes maybe sometimes do change on different playthroughs, because as far as I know, this one is going to unlock floor 4. But the floor 4 code I got previously was like 344, and this one's like 960. Hang on, let me just go see that for one minute. I guess it does change. Well, that's something I've never noticed. <laughs> right then. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly jot that down so that way I do not forget. But yeah, I am an expert at the Talos Principle, as you could plainly see. I know exactly which passwords we're going to use because even though they're randomly generated, hey, I'm still bound to know, and that's why I had to write it down. It was just there in case I somehow suddenly developed amnesia. I mean, you can't be too careful with these things, you can't blame me for wanting to just be safe and secure regarding this little bit of a slight conundrum. This conundrum being 960. Why is this number such a way? Why does it exist? And why is it randomly generated? I don't know. I'm not the designer of this game. All I know is that today we both learned something new about this game. And hey, you should be proud of me. I'm learning. I'm not sure if I should be so proud of you because you probably already knew that and I'm just a downright moron. But hey, maybe you're learning. Unless you're a new player who's watching this for the first time in forever. So, in which case, yeah, we both learned something new in the end. I don't know where I'm going with this, because I seriously never knew those were randomly generated. But I think it's time we move off and onto a different topic. Let's move off of that train and enter the subway and see what they have to offer in terms of snacks and prizes and anything good and righteous and holy. Such as another search puzzle! <laughs> right. Number four, let's get to work on this one immediately, and this is hopefully not going to take up too much time. I'm not even sure if I'm going to split up these sigil puzzles like I have done for the Messenger Islands. I don't think I'm going to bother doing that because, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to understand these sorts of things and also solve puzzles at the same time. You just have to have a bit of an alert mind in this phase, in this puzzle solving solution phase of your life where you realize, hey, it's not going to present you all the answers. That's why I exist. I exist to solve the answers and the puzzles for you. I exist to solve the answers and present the puzzles. Exactly. That is why I am here. I am here to make videos and tell you this is what you have to do in order to solve this one. 
so that way you don't have to figure it out for yourself, because obviously life is not going to present it for you. Rather, I, a product of life, is going to present it for you. And that is how you win the Talos Principle. I am just full of so much rambling today, because I don't know how to do commentary. There are... flaws in the system. I think sometimes it accesses the wrong databases. Pulls random data. I don't know. I don't know how bad it is. It all seems to be stable, but... I can't tell what kind of impact this is going to have on the process. Strength to go over all of the code again. I, I just, I just, I just don't want it all to be for nothing. I spent all my time here. I didn't visit my parents. I didn't see my friends. I did nothing but work. And I'm so scared that it didn't mean anything. That I just wasted it all because I thought we could. <laughs> We could save the world. I suppose I should take this time to refer to some actual serious storytelling, because if you haven't been following the story very well, well, it goes like this. Humanity was basically doomed to die from the start of the game. We don't know what exactly happened to it. I mean, if it's not obvious enough, we have been in a simulation, a computer program this entire time, because we are a robot, obviously. We aren't human. These are prosthetics, we are, these are actual robotic limbs, but this is all just a simulation. This is all a video game, essentially. Now, what happened to everyone on Earth? They all died by mysterious disease number 542, part of plot number 634. And if that doesn't explain enough to you, everyone's dead, the end. That's it, we're the only ones left. A thinking robot inside a computer program. That's basically the story in a nutshell. And this person who's been writing down, like, the time capsules and everything is someone who is, like, one of the last survivors and also pretty much a coder who basically designed everything. So, uh, he, we, were, we were the product of that person, you know? We are the child. We are the child of Ms. Alexandra Drennan, who designed us to be a robot who could think, a robot who could have a sense of what it means to be alive, and basically... This entire story is, um, something better if you follow it for yourself, and not be like me who's really struggling to actually explain it, and also unlock doors at the same time. So anyway, the code we got is 280, it seems. So, rather than it being 545 like it was for me previously, we're going to enter 280. And that is done. Now, we might leave and head on towards the next floor. And as soon as I find my way out, we are going. We are going places. We're going all the way up to floor 5, and we're gonna explore and have a wonderful, adventurous time up there. Boom. Let's ride the lift for at least one final time. Also, we are really high up. I, I love how high you can get onto this tower, and um... Yeah, oh, this is a great place to be. I just like being on top of the tower because you get such a great view of what the entire world is going to look like down below. Obviously, our view is sort of obstructed by this thing, which is another one of them puzzles. This one's actually fairly simple to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly solve it as best to my memory as I can. And once we are finished with that, then we might see the light and discover what it is exactly that Elohim, or Sam Sirius Stone, has been hiding from us this entire game. What are the mysteries of the tower? What might we discover if we venture forward? Open the blast doors and let us see the light. Another time capsule. And this is pretty much one of the final ones in the game. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I, I think this... Uh, this is it. Um, the end of... Uh, me. I... I don't believe that I will continue to exist. I... I would like to, to think that there is a... a soul or spirit 
consciousness that will persist. But all, all the evidence says that when my brain dies, I will be gone. I've lived my life never turning away from the truth, even if it scares me. And I can face this. Face my own end. And, and say with absolute conviction that it was good to be human. And that was the passing of Ms. Alexandra Drennan. So I've begun this other puzzle, and this is probably the most complex one of this entire tower area. It involves a fair amount of steps where you kind of have to do things in a specific order. This is one of the few ones where there is actually a chance of death. In fact, the only one where there is a chance of death. We're going to encase that mine for the time being, and we're going to go ahead and jam that fan, which would normally be pushing us away, but... We're not going to allow that to happen. So, let's go ahead, disable that, and then we're going to reconnect the jammer up there on top of the box, I believe. So that way, we can power this fan from that button over there. That bind has become entirely irrelevant, and this bottom floor has basically become entirely irrelevant in of itself. So take this fan that you had sitting right here earlier, and do not fall down like a moron, because that's going to have to be reconnected up there. If I can even actually do that. Can I reconnect this from up here? Because I don't want to have to reset this. Because that would be horrible. Come on. Uh, 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 go on. I believe. I believe. No. This is not going to work. Right then. I guess it is time to maybe reset the puzzle. Uh. Sorry about that, I will hopefully avoid being so clumsy next time, and I will see you when we return to where we were. Alright, and we are back having detached that fan. So now, what you want to do is you want to bring this fan piece, not over there and get stuck for all eternity, you want to bring it and set it on this pad. That's basically the essential step required, and now you can grab these objects without any further delay. And we should have just about everything. We do actually have to bring this fan piece with us, but we're just going to leave it there for the time being, and we're going to start by jamming this minigun turret. To show you what's over here, this is basically it, and to get things prepared, I think I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that disabled minigun turret by setting up a couple of things, such as activating the fan and showing you what's even further up, which is requiring two jammers. However, because we have the recorder at our disposal, then we're going to start off by transporting that recorder elsewhere. I'm going to stand here for about maybe... 8 seconds, probably. And once I finish that, then that recording of the jammer will still be active, and I'm going to jam it from this end. And with that complete, I'm going to watch my buddy end his self, end his life as a clone, and now we are going to take this jammer with us on another grand adventure while recording. Because that jammer is still going to be there in real time. And we just need to open up this door. That's basically all you have to do with this puzzle. I think it's the beginning part that's probably the more difficult aspect of it. Because there's just the chance that you might get stuck forever. And it might be a little bit difficult to figure out at first. I don't blame anyone who might get stuck. Because trust me. These puzzles, you can't just look at them a lot of the time and say, Hey, I know the solution to this immediately, because, trust me, that's not how it works. When you're going off of memory, it can be slightly easier. So, just to be fair on that point, you know, once you got it in your head, it's all pretty simple. To other people, maybe not so much, but to you, hey, the simplicity of it all still exists. And here we are at the final area. There are no terminals up here, actually. Instead... The sheep has become the shepherd, and this is the door to one of the endings of the game. We're not going there right now. In fact, that is the least of our concerns for the time being. We don't want to end the game just yet, because we still have to cover the star worlds. And speaking of stars, there is one final star which we need to collect.